Hey guys, Repairman here. So, here's uh, my super furnace. So, you got a ton of buildings or a massive building you need to build and you need to cook up whether it's cobblestone to make stone for bricks or you need to cook up netherrack or tons of iron, whatever you need to cook up, you need to cook up tons of it. This is the oven you want to have for massive amounts of cooking. In the top chest is where we put our items. In this back chest here is where we put our fuel. And then down at the bottom is where we collect our items. And I cooked some stuff before. Get rid of that. All right, so come into here. We grab some fuel. Just blow this up with a butt ton of fuel. Because it has 24 furnaces all together. So it takes a lot of fuel to keep running. <laughs> Yeah, thing doesn't just power itself, so you got to have some fuel for it. All right, so you see it, it'll evenly distribute along all the hoppers before it allows it to drop down into the next row and then into the hop into the furnace itself. All right, so now we want to cook some stuff up. Say we want to cook up, uh, just mine some iron and diamonds. Oh, I don't think redstone will cook. <laughs> Alright, so we want to cook up some diamonds and iron and gold and emeralds. Let's cook it up. Bam. So throw it in there. Yeah, you know what? Might as well cook up some netherrick bricks as well. Bam. There we go. You can see those funneling off. And yes, those are funneling off all those fire furnaces. Look at them all. Beautifully burning them up. Cooking all that stuff and it'll come into here as soon as they're done cooking. Look at that. Bam. Probably f first batch is done. Already on to the second batch. Well, no. First batch because 24 furnaces. Bam. Second batch. That thing's just motoring through those at racing speeds. Hey, if you need to cook something up, look at that. Thing is beautiful. Haha. <laughs> I even got some iron coming through the feed now because the first whole stack of diamonds is done just like that. That is fabulous how fast that thing is. Love it. All right, so now for the tutorial aspect of this, we want to build this thing now. So if you're in survival building this, uh, good luck <laughs> because this thing takes a ton of materials just for the redstone components and everything hoppers and chests and everything this is all the raw materials you're gonna have to harvest and get not including the blocks of choice you're gonna need and the half slabs you're gonna need what, 48 half slabs I forgot to mention that uh, or put that into there as well 48 half slabs 12 on this side 12 over there 12 on this side and 12 over there so that's that and then craft all that materials into this and that's what it will be what you get minus the half slabs which aren't included there then go ahead and toss those in your inventory all right, creative so don't really need to go and throw every single item in here. Peter, comparator, furnace, trap chest, and a block of choice. And uh, I think I'll use block iron. Of course, this is creative. If it wasn't creative, man, but unless you got some crazy iron gold farm, it's going to be quite expensive. All right, so let's get this thing started off. Redstone dust, we need 12 of them. One, two, three, oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, right? All right, so. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's getting a little bit late. So, forgetting how to count. <laughs> All right, so we got that down. Now we go ahead and throw down repeaters over here. Block of choice behind that. And then repeaters on top of that. And then we just do the same on this side. So remember, guys, this is a 
30 across all the way. So there's, and there's going to be six block space in between. So three or um, two, the chest. If you only want to have the chest, well, actually, no, you have to, if you want to have it split system, you have to have a double chest. So you need to have um, s that space in there. So I mean, you probably could get away with only four block space. But uh, I was playing around with a lot of different builds, and so I, just to be on the safe side, I put six spaces in there because I was trying to make sure it evenly distributed, and I came up with this was the most even solution to uh, sort them. If you come up with a better one, uh, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, maybe I'll re-improve the design, but uh, you got to count it, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. There we go. Uh, just make sure we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six spaces in below. Okay, good. All right. Just repeat the exact same thing we did on the other side. Block choice. Repeaters. Make sure they're all on one tick. So. If you look down, there should be no ticks on any of them, going all the way down on both sides. All right, then we need to put torches on the back of those. Block a choice on top of that. torch on top of that. Do the same on this side. Damn, that's that. All right, so that's the first stage of it. We have the repeaters is the same on either side, which we're going to actually do the fuel side over there, but same thing on both sides. So, two redstone rows, repeater row, repeater row, torches all up to here. But of course, we're doing this side, so the hoppers are going to look like that. We're going to have two hoppers feeding into the furnace, which is right there. So, let's go and set, set our furnaces down first. So set those down properly. Two hoppers on top there, and then furnace on top of that. So if you look right above the torch, just like that, right above the torch, hopper, hopper, furnace. So we're going to have hopper, hopper, and furnace right here. But in order to place down our furnaces, and we, uh, for me, I want to be able to see the front of the furnace because it looks nice, at least when I'm going inside and stuff. Um, I want to face it away from the fuel side, so I'm going to go and just place down all these blocks like this so I can place them down nice and evenly. Just like that. Go ahead and get rid of those temporary blocks. And repeat the same thing on the other side. Of course, you don't have to put down these temporary blocks. This is just a way I found was a uh, easy way to throw them up here. If you find a better way, by all means, go ahead and do it. But this works for me. So, all right, now we need to connect in our hoppers. So, go ahead and crouch, place down your hoppers, feeding into the backs of them. You could feed into the front if you wanted. The fuel will still work that way, but then you won't be able to really see it because look, the hoppers covering up the whole this side pretty much so oh, and now we need to go on these hoppers feeding into the backs of those hoppers come over here crouch do the same exact thing on this side All 
right, so that concludes that spot. Now we're up to here. Now we need to, oh, and also just make sure when you place them, if you want to verify, just make sure this little nub is facing towards the furnace all the way down. Just verify that when you build it. Now we're going to make the chest and all the hoppers going across. They're all going to point towards a this direction. This block doesn't really necessarily need to be here. You could probably break that when you're done. I just left it there just because <laughs> you don't need it. But you need it during the process of building it. So eh, just build a little pyramid up just so you have something to build on top of build into. Okay, so right next to the hoppers I place that block there so that I can place hoppers facing into it. Crouch. Place them all facing away from the middle of your furnace. Your, um, your fit, mid, super furnace that is. Okay, and for this, because it's facing away, when you're doing the output chest, you can just put two after you've done with the rows, but for the input of the fuel and the items, you're going to need three. So you're going to put this one there, and then all the rest are going to go the other direction. And then on top of this, go ahead and put your chest. Of course, it's going to be facing the other way when we place the other chest on the other side, but... So, and then just do the exact same thing on this side. Oh, well, technically it's just counter, so you can see exactly how big it is, where we're placing stuff, just gives you an idea of where we're at. All right, place hoppers into that. Oh, crouch. So you can place the hoppers into the other hoppers. Okay, and now just there. That's our fuel ch fuel chest. All right, so that's just about it. We just have to do a little bit more for this circuit. We're just going to go and place blocks. Oops. Make sure you do not uh, change these. It can have some negative side effects if you do that. All right, so block of choice above that. Redstone on top of that torch on this side and torch on this side all right and then you're just going to repeat the same process over here torches along here redstone and torches Right, so now we've completed almost half of it. So we've got two redstone rows, repeater, repeater, torches, torches underneath, hoppers going into the furnace, and we have the block of choice, torches on this side, torches on that side. Now we need to make the top for, with the comparators. So I just put blocks right above the redstone. When you go and place it on the redstone, it'll just place right there. So it'll be a perfect spot already. It's a block of choice. As you can see, just like that. Now we need half slabs. Okay, so go ahead, place, and go ahead and break that, one. break that one. Go ahead, twelve of these. 
just like that. And it has to, has to, has to be a half slab. If you put a full regular block, it'll screw everything up. Torches will flicker and go crazy, most likely. It just, it won't be pretty. You have to use half slabs. All right, so that's that. Now when you go back to our block of choice. And I just go like this to get a block there to begin with. All right. Now we need to get compa our comparators out. We have 12 on this side and do the exact same thing on this side. Another 12. Bam. There you go. That's just about done with that. We just have to put the signal that lets it know, hey, uh, there's still items in there. So as you can see, we got all this aspect on here. So now we just got to do this part here. So I put two blocks over here, and then have it up, come up, and torches like that. Oops, so. Block there, block there, block there. We're gonna have a comparator. Pair is gonna go there. Comparator there, repeater to boost the signal, repeater to boost the signal, otherwise it will not work. Pretty much everything is mandatory, like I have it on here. If you deviate even a little bit, could have dire consequences, uh, except for maybe like shortening uh, this up. If you shorten this up, instead of having six blocks in the middle, you could have four, and then just have the comparator come right off of this block and you'll have it shorter in between. Instead of 30, you'll have a 28 build and four coming from that last part of the furnace. Starting here, you'll only have four across. You can't go any shorter than that because if you do, uh, circuits will merge and you'll have issues. All right, so now from there, we need to put block right next to the repeater. Redstone on top, torch on that side, torch on that side, which will send power down to block down there and to that redstone down there. All right, so block choice up. That's going to go and put torch, block choice, that. Put redstone on top. Oh, broke the wrong block. Okay, so actually that blocks you put above the double row of redstone, you can actually extend it three if you wanted, or uh, 13 instead of 12 because you're going to be going that extra block anyways. And just do the same exact thing on that side. And you can come up the block like that. Come a block, up a block like that torch, redstone, there you go. Basically all this circuit does here is it just, when there's no items going through these uh, hoppers, it'll tell it to go ahead and freely let the items through. That way none of the items get stuck in the hoppers. If you don't have this part of the circuit, items will get stuck in the hoppers and it won't be as effective. I mean, you don't absolutely have to. I mean, if you're hooking this up to some kind of automatic farm or something that happens to want to cook something like a cactus farm, if you're going doing some crazy cactus stuff <laughs> and cook, make and die or something, you could do that and not worry about it. But if you want every last item, you need this part of the circuit embedded in. All right, so uh, and that's the very first half. It, completed. Have all of the fuel side completed. If you notice, just like that. Alright, so now if we go, let's just get rid of that just for temporarily. Let's grab some fuel. If we grab
scrap fuel, throw it in here. You'll notice so it surely it's feeding through the system. Torches turn off, letting the fuel get pumped into the furnaces. And if you come over here, look into the furnaces. Might not be perfect, but eh, it's of course it's also feeding as we're looking, so the number's gonna go up, but look at that. Just about perfect. Or yeah, all six. Oh, first one, first one uh, sometimes tends to have a little bit more sometimes just because of the little bit of redstone lag, some delays and issues with the redstone itself, but pretty close to uh, even across the board. All right, so now we're basically going to repeat the same process, just a little bit different rather than going into the side, we're going to go into the top. Items they're cooking have to go into the top. You can't do it from the sides. I haven't, well, I haven't tried it from the actual side side, but you cannot do it from the front or the back. Sides, if I had to take a guess, would be only for fuel. And the bottom, of course, you suck items out, and that's where the items from the output side go. All right, so actually, you know, why don't we go and do that? Let's get that out of the way. Oh, yeah, <laughs> what am I doing? We need hoppers. I uh, should have cleared out my old bar. Should have just waited to the end. <laughs> Alright, so. Oop. So we need just one item there. Just, oh, not an item there. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, so come to the very middle of our build. Make sure you're two blocks away from there, or one if you're doing the 28 block build. There's the four space in the middle instead of six like I have here. I'm doing the six just because I know for sure that works. I haven't played around with the other one. All right, so, and also it gives you leeway for extra add-ons and stuff, possible future modifications to the system. Or, you know, if you do some other design where instead of just two sets, one on these side and that side, maybe you have one that offshoots that way and another fuel a fuel section that goes off that way, another out input that fuels in this way, so, or not another fuel, what am I talking about? Uh, another set of furnaces this way and that way, just to speed up the build. I uh, was thinking I might do something similar to that, but, all right, so we just put chests here, right in the middle, one block right on, basically right underneath the furnaces, lined up with that in the middle, just like this chest is here in the middle of there. All right, and then we hook up hoppers to it. Crouch, hoppers all the way across. This will suck all the items out of the furnaces as they cook and shoot them on down to the furnace or to the chest. And just repeat the same process on this side. All right, so that's the fuel side part of it's done. The output side is done. So now if we were to uh, if we were to grab a diamond and chuck it in there and cook that up, it'll end up in the output chest. Now do the input hoppers going into it. You'll notice if you go in the exact center of the hoppers, you'll drop down because they're like hoppers are basically like a little funnel. And if we check that diamond cooked up nice, perfect. And of course, it's still lit because there's still that coal block burns for quite some time, so it'll sit there on fire for quite some time. Do the same thing. Hoppers into the 
tops of the furnaces on this side. Now what we want to do is we want to go and have hoppers going into those hoppers, just like that. crouch. chests on top of those. Now you cannot put the same type of chest on every single one. It has to be alternating. Doesn't matter which way you start off with a chest or a trap chest. Doesn't matter as long as every other one is different. So here trap chest, regular trap, trap chest, regular chest, all of them like that. So just grab your chest and your regular chest tra or trap chest and your regular chest like that. And it doesn't really matter which way you face it, any way it'll work. So whichever way you prefer doing it will be just fine. So put your first set of one type of chest down and then put the other type down. Just have hoppers feeding into the front into those chests just like that oh well actually we need to go up probably for that don't know if we'll be able to reach it from here might have to go on with some of the rest of the nope we can actually reach it from here all right good so crouch go place those down in there course same thing of course just as you did on that side do on this side all right now got that done now it's also just like we did that uh, that whole system on that side we're gonna do the same thing just one we're gonna raise that up so we're going to raise it up two blocks because this goes into the ground. This one I had into the ground one block. This one's raised up. We're going to do a little bit higher so that way we didn't have to dig into the ground. So that means this has to be a little bit higher. So instead of one blocks on the ground, we're going to put two. Or you can just raise it up and then just put one row up in the air, whichever way you want to do it. But to get us started, underneath that hopper it's one two and then three so counter there one block two block three block and place it down all right so hoppers one block two block three block so we're going to basically come over just like that and there's going to go a torch on there. So just, oh, let's grab all the items we're going to need. Torches. There, there we go. Torches are going to go on there. 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 Right. Oh, uh, actually, not on there. Peter here. Peter there. <laughs> wrong item. All right, and basically that whole thing is going to get copied over there, just like redstone, redstone repeater, repeater, redstone torch, and 
redstone torch under it. So just come out to 12, just like you have your furnaces back to here. You just bring that all the way over. And do the same thing on this side. Well, you just bring that over. Chop that off. Three rows, just like that. Then we go ahead and place down two rows of redstone, just like we did before. And of course, do it on both sides. Now they're going there. <laughs> and then, of course, repeaters here. Same thing over here. Then you need your block of choice coming all the way across. Another block of choice over here, just like you did over there. And then we need repeaters on top of here. Same thing on this side. torches on this side. So right on the other side of that Peter facing end here, right on the other side of that block, torch. Or right underneath that repeater, right adjacent from it. Alright, now we got that out of the way. Go ahead and place down our block of choice on top of the torches. And then come around, grab torches, place down your torches on top of those. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, and just as we did before on the other side, we're going to put blocks on top of the f second row of redstone. Do the same thing on the other side. Grab torches, put torches on one side. Repeat it. Tor oh, no, torches up there. Ah. When you're trying to hurry and go as quick as you can, sometimes mistakes happen. So if you need to, just make, take your time. Redstone on the top. Redstone on the top. Torches on the other side. Torches on this side as well. Alright, so now, of course, this is input side, which is the same side we're working on. And we've got the majority of this done. We've got all that. Oh, yeah, keep forgetting. You can come out the 13th because we're going to just go up anyways. Might as well just throw that on now since we're like right here with this process. Redstone dust. Bam. Alright, so that's where we're at. I've got all that now. We're going to go and put down right on top of those 12, not the 13th one, but 12. Put a block of choice right on top of those. Do the same thing on this side. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Thirteenth on this side, we only need twelve. All right, now grab half slabs, just like we did before. Should have kept them in the hot bar, probably. <laughs> Not enough sp spaces in the hot bar for some builds. <laughs> yeah, all right, so temporary block, just so we can place that. All right, and go ahead and put. 12 on this side, repeat the process on this side, temporary block just so we can place this one on the bottom, get rid of it, place another 12. Alright, 
and I'm also going to need a comparator. underneath get rid of that bam and that's that side do the same thing on this side temporary block get rid of that there we go all right now let's just uh, build this up block above Red stone Torch. Two blocks there. So right on this block of choice, coming out of the hopper, going into the comparator, two blocks there. Come up a block, place a block. Torch on there, comes down with redstone. All right, and we're going to have a comparator and a repeater out of that. Just repeat the same process on this side. Every way you want to do it, just as long as it gets done. Doing. I already had that temp I already had that built out just like that side. <laughs> I, all right. Ah, do it again. Get out of my way. <laughs> all right. There we go. All right. So that, as you see, as soon as I place that down, boom, all this turned off. And that goes when that turns off. That goes and kills all these. That allows this to turn off, allowing the items to freely flow through into the hoppers. All right, now for the hoppers, the input stuff. So let's just put these blocks, temporary blocks there. Hoppers going across, just like we did on the other side. Crouch, place down your hoppers. Now we're at the point where this is one out, it's two out, three out. If you're doing the 30 wide build, you need to come three out. Otherwise, you can just go two out. All right, so we need to do that again. Go and put down our temporary blocks. Probably don't need this block here after you're done, but I haven't actually played around with that or not, but it shouldn't have any effect. So that's one block, two block, and three block. And we need on those three and three blocks, we need a chest there and a chest there. And here's our input chest. All right, so that should pretty much do us. Uh, got torches. Oh, almost forgot. Kind of link up the redstone. The reason I do this is just to smooth out the process because uh, sometimes the items can fluctuate a little bit differently. So by linking, you don't have to link these two sides, but if you do, I found it runs a bit smoother because sometimes if this flickers on and off and then all the items say it's halfway and then they might drop down or something, if you do this then both sides will keep it powered until all the items are fed through. Really, if you wanted to be extra crazy and have this thing like super smooth, if it's not smooth enough as it is, you could probably just go and place down blocks like that. Like that. Well, probably all along here if you really wanted to do that. 
and then just repeat run repeaters all into here like that that probably helps smooth it out <laughs> that way no matter if there's any items in any of these those will all be turned on you can do the same thing over here if you really wanted to oh i just noticed my block of choice changed <laughs> So if we do that now, we should be done with the super furnace. Let's go and clear our items, give it a little test run. Stack of this, stack of that, stack of that. Uh, let's grab a stack of that. There we go. All right. So nothing in the output chest. We got a decent amount of fuel anyways in the furnaces. Enough to get started. All right. So let's dump all those in there calm down, wait for all these torches will light up, turning those ones above it off, and all the tor all the furnaces will roar to life. Boom. Nice. All roaring to life. And in no time flat, we'll have our super cooking, cooking all the stuff we need for our massive builds. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, like the video, uh, please subscribe, and let me know if you guys want some more tutorials like this, or some more details, feel free to comment, I'll read it, try my best to read every comment, and you guys have a good one.